Hey y'all, it's Jeff Martin here with Georgia Marine Outlet Center in Blackshear, Georgia. And I wanna take a little bit of time and talk with you about the difference on boat trailers so that you understand when you have brakes, when you don't have brakes, and what type of brake you might have. Now, this trailer right here that I'm talking about with this uh, skiff boat is just, it's a single axle, it's a single axle, there we go, I'll get it where I can point it right. It's a single axle trailer. What that means is you only have one axle you likely have no brakes, okay? So you're gonna use the brakes on your tow vehicle to stop that trailer. Therefore, when you go to hook in to your, to your uh, trailer, uh, to your truck, you're gonna have a four flat, is what this is. Four flat is just gonna control your lights, your blinkers, and, and your running lights, all right? So that's right there uh, what that setup happens to be. Now, if you have a larger boat, or you have a tandem axle trailer, you're going to have brakes on that trailer. This trailer right here, as you can see, has two axles. So we call that a tandem axle trailer. A tandem axle trailer, I'll get that eventually. There we go. A tandem axle trailer is going to definitely have brakes because it's rated high enough that it's gonna require a braking mechanism. Now, on a lot of boat trailers, not every, but most boat trailers have a surge brake, which is to say it's a hydraulic braking system that as you're driving, okay, as you're going down the road, what happens is, do you see this little area right here? You see, uh, right now I've got, a, uh, I've got a strap here to hold it back, but this, when you go to brake, when you go to brake, the gravitational push or inertia of this trailer coming towards your truck or tow vehicle, this will actually press back in here, which then puts the hydraulic fluid that's right here back up into the axles, okay? Which then creates the braking system, all right? So this is a surge brake. Now, be aware, with a surge brake, you typically are gonna have a connector that has five pins, all right? So one pin works as a ground, but then you get your lights, your blinkers, your, your brake lights, but this right here helps for it to um, undo your brake so that your surge brake does not activate when you're backing up your boat. If you do not have this plugged into a five adapter, okay? a five pin adapter, if you do not have that, then what'll happen is on a four pin, when you go to try to back up your boat, you're not going anywhere because that surge is going to activate. And when that surge activates, you're gonna lock down and you're gonna be like, what's up? Why can't I break my boat, back my boat up? All right, so you don't have to worry about that. If you've got it plugged in to the right, to the right adapter, okay? This will always allow you to be able to back your boat without any problem, and you're not going to uh, ruin the opportunity to, to have your brakes. Now, if you happen to have a an adapter that is only a four adapter, then then you lose your braking, okay? So it's always best to have and find a good adapter to be able to work with, to be able to hook your trailer up so that your brakes work. So that's pretty well the basics of how all this stuff works. And with that, what we're going to be uh, doing, we're going to try to continue to keep you updated on just some of the common boating things that, that novice or new folks need to know, all right? I hope you have a blessed day. Again, Jeff Martin with Georgia Marine Outlet Center in Blackshear, Georgia, 912-807-5678. God bless you.